Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Uh, yo, this is like somebody we all know. Remember J.J. Walker from Good Times? Dynamite. Wow, it, it looks like the J.J. Walker lookalike is accused of robbing the Boost mobile store at night. So this video, it's sad. I feel bad for the business owner. I get it. And the bigger thing is, a lot of people don't get it. Young ladies, and I've heard of this before, again, different video. They let these Tyrone, these dust buckets, talk them into a way to try to get some extra money. This right here definitely spells an inside job. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and look at the video and then I'll do the commentary and you can see what my frame of reference is here. So look on the screen. Looks like J.J. Walker, the guy from Good Times, but it's not. Again, it's a lookalike. Here we go. Fair use. Let the tragic. It's like a comedy. They're so stupid. But let the tragedy, let the comedy, let the embarrassment begin. Welcome to some Dusties in Blackistan. Here we go. Brazen burglars targeting a Boost mobile store, stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Surveillance cameras here capturing a clear look at those crooks. Let's go to Local 10's Andrew Perez, live in Pembroke Park, to show us much more. Andrew. You know, these guys knew safe codes, they knew alarm codes, a lot of planning involved in this. And despite all that planning, you can hear them talking about it in this video we're about to show you. Despite all of it, they still didn't even bother to hide their faces. Wow, no mask. He unlocks the door, ignores the alarm. Two of his buddies follow suit. This doesn't even phase them. Our lead perp turns off the alarm, pulls out a bag for the merchandise, and makes it clear what his job is. As one man keeps bagging electronics, the others head to the back. Take a really close look. No faces are covered here. He puts in the safe code and quickly gets to work. Come on, come on with the bag. Come on with the bag. Come on with the bag. Oh come on with the bag. Come on with the bag. All of this unfolding at around 5 o'clock in the morning. It's a Boost mobile store right off West Hollandale Beach Boulevard near 44th Avenue. The owner is outraged, saying this is clearly an inside mm -hmm. job. The trio making off with roughly $24,000 in electronics and merchandise. The store's owner insisting somebody has to know these guys. Detectives were called out, but he's also offering a cash reward, an easy grand for anyone who can lead deputies to the men caught on camera. After looking at that video, it should be pretty easy to identify them. They took iPhones, they took Androids. If you have any information whatsoever, call Broward County Crime Stoppers at number 95. Ignores the alarm. Two of his buddies follow suit. This doesn't even phase them. Our lead perp turns off the alarm, pulls out. Um, don't you need a code to turn the alarm off? Don't you need a code to turn the alarm off? So I, I, what, are, what are the chances that he just got lucky and just happened to think of some numbers and boom, they're the right numbers to disengage the alarm. Look at this on the screen. I got to try and open the safe. I got to gotta open the safe. I got to find out where the safe at. Tell me what to say, Fat. He doesn't have a phone in his hand. I'm assuming he's talking to somebody that works there, a Dustina. He's more than likely, I would think, probably has like, you know, the Bluetooth. He's talking to somebody that works there. And the Dustina is telling him where to go, where to say, Fat. Check it. For the merchandise and makes it clear what his job is. Okay. As one man, who is he talking to? Somebody that works there. It's so obvious that it is an inside job. I gotta find out what a safe at. What a safe at. Tell me what a safe at. And keeps bagging electronics. The others head to the back. Take a really close look. No faces are covered here. He found out what a safe at. Now, don't forget, he's already turned off the alarm. The, the alarm has been disengaged. 
Now he got to find out what a safe is. So somebody's told him he's figured out what a safe is at. And now guess what? He's punching in a code. Gee, only the workers would have the code or the owner. And the owner sure as hell would not steal from themselves. Doesn't make any sense. He puts in the safe code and quickly gets to work. Voila. Wow. Ain't this something? He put the safe code. So somebody is feeding him the information and it's obviously a worker. I'm guessing it might be a Dustina. And Dustina, you are so dumb, just like your dusty behind man, because you really think you're so smart. You really think that? You're so smart and you think you're going to walk your behind into this man's business and have a job and still get paid. The fools don't have on any kind of gloves. Look, there are no gloves on. The fingerprints alone will give them up. No gloves, no mask. And you can hear the conversation. And you think you're going to walk your behind this man's business, steal from him and still get a check. So dumb. So dumb. And it's embarrassing. Look how the Dustinas, they'll let their dust is now. What if the man can trace them back to him? They may go back and find some cameras and find one of these dust buckets dropping off the Dustina off to her job. To her job. Mm-hmm. And then, hey, wasn't this guy like here a while ago dropping you off in your job or driving your car? There you go. There should be an accessory. They've stolen $24,000 or over $24,000 in merchandise. Then she'll have a felony. And then we'll be sitting up going, will nobody hire me? Will nobody hire me? The Dustinos are evil, just like the dust is counterproductive. For this community, I'm going to say this here. For the black community talking to all the peeps in the B.C., <clears throat> hate to tell you this, and I know of what I, it's common sense, but I know of what I speak. The immigrants that come here and the A.I. is going to be kicking your butt. Oh, yeah, they're going to be kicking your butt. Uh, you're going to be basically priced out. And things like this here also help. I've taught, oh, my gosh. I just talked to a friend of mine uh, doing a business. And, you know, he makes the joke. Oh, no. Only a certain amount, and he's black, only a certain amount of black people. Why? Drama. The, what I'm not going to do, really? the amount of drama and it's so sad that we have so many dust buckets dustinas all around they're ruining for the intelligent ones that's why when you get a shot as a minority you sure as hell better take it and you better appreciate it because you might not get one again because trash like this here then you wonder why when they got a felony oh my baby daddy got a felony and you got pregnant by him yeah that wasn't very bright he, he doesn't need a chance to get a job they don't want, a lot of these characters don't want a job that's why they have felonies they, don't, they want a quick lick and sit at home and chill so here she has a job let's go in and try to rob it see they don't want to really rob it with a gun more than likely i would not be surprised if these characters on the screen they already have felonies and so the people that they know you know it could be one person a lot of times these tools may have two or three people working in them but it'll be kind of obvious and they might make a mistake and go oh you know karen oh uh dustina shaquanda Oh, oh, and this on film, then they'll, it'll be so obvious that, okay, it's not a real hold up. They might make a mistake. So they don't want that. So sometimes they'll convince the Dustina to do that. I've even heard of people, I kid you not. I've heard of these Dusties getting these dumb women. You got to be kidding me. I kid you not. Getting dumb women to sit up here and getting a, what do you call this? A fake PPP, the SBA stuff, the fake PPP loans. They, I, It's like, what? He's telling them what to do. And I'm and so, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, and I was ear hustling, of course. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't the man do it? But see, he already has a felony. He already got a, has messed his name up. He's already jacked the hell up. So he's not gonna do it. But what he does, he gets those desperate Dustini, Dustinas, and they're like, oh, okay. He go ahead and gets them to do it. That's what he does. He gets them to do it, and then they go and do it. And then the next thing you know, they're hoping to come across a quick check. Next thing you know, it's like, oh, what's going on? 
guess what, girl? You listen to your man. See, you're attracted to and you keep hanging with, by choice, low-hanging fruit. And you ha- you were hanging with that low-hanging fruit and they saw an opportunity. Again, he's not going to put him stuck because he's already jacked the hell up. So he goes ahead and puts you with it. Mm-hmm. Low-hanging fruit. He puts you with it. And then the next thing you know, uh-oh, she's caught a case. And sweetie, you just caught a case with the feds. The men telling them what, the boyfriends telling them what to do. And like a dumb fool, you go and do it. Gotta be kidding me. So this right here. I don't, think, I don't know how if insurance will help. But $24,000 a thing. You give them a job. And they turn around and get you robbed. This is why people don't want to help people or give second chances. Give them a job and you'll get you robbed. Anyway, I'm out of here. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. TT, do you hear me? Stop stealing before you go to jail. TT, with that felony, then I can hire you. You'll be broke as hell. Don't be a follower, be a leader. Because your friends won't be with you in that cell. TT, do you hear me? Stop stealing. Hope you go to jail. And trust me, they're going to catch them. Again, look at this. Finger, they got the looks. All they have to do is the fingerprints. Put the fingerprints on the safe. And the fingerprints are more than likely already in the database. Yeah, it looks like TT, is he wearing with some Nikes or something? Whatever got got on. You might be uh, having to trade those in for a jumpsuit and flip-flops. This is what a failure looks looks like. This is what a dusty derelict looks like. I'm out.